Welcome, everyone, to this session on financial growth and personal wealth management. I'm thrilled to share with you some exciting insights into growing your wealth, something I've had the pleasure of experiencing firsthand. Saving $1 million in your 30s is not just an impressive milestone. It's an exhilarating journey that can be both fun and deeply empowering. Let's dive into the top five strategies that can help you achieve this goal, based on scientific evidence and financial wisdom. Number five, automated savings. Automated savings, it's a game changer. It's like having a personal financial assistant quietly working in the background, ensuring that your future self will thank you. Now, let's talk about why this is so powerful. Imagine every time you get paid, a portion of that pay it doesn't have to be a lot automatically goes into a savings or investment account. You don't see it, you don't touch it, it's just gone from your checking account into a place where it starts working for you. This is the out of sight, out of mind principle in action, and it's grounded in solid behavioral economics. You see, every single one of us is wired with certain behavioral tendencies. We're more likely to spend money that's easy to access. That's just human nature. But when we automate our savings, we're leveraging our human nature for our benefit. We're designing our environment to help us achieve our financial goals. It's like creating a path of least resistance to wealth accumulation. Now, there was this study at the University of Pennsylvania, and they found that people who set up automatic transfers to their savings accounts saved at a much higher rate than those who didn't. This isn't surprising when you think about it but it's powerful evidence of the effectiveness of this simple tool. But here's where it gets interesting. When you start automating your savings, you're not just putting money aside. You're actually training yourself to live on a little less. And most people don't even feel the pinch. Over time, as your income grows, you can increase the amount that you're saving automatically. This is what we call paying yourself first, and it's a fundamental principle of personal finance. And let's not forget the compounding effect. When you start young, the money you save has more time to grow through interest and investment returns. It's like planting a tree. At first, it's just a small sapling, but give it time, and it becomes a sturdy oak, providing shade and shelter. Your small, automated savings can grow in the same way, becoming a significant source of wealth. What's really fascinating is that once you set this up, it takes almost no effort to keep it going. The technology does the work for you. And in our digital age, setting up automated savings is easier than ever. You can do it in minutes, and it puts you on the fast track to financial freedom. So, the bottom line is, if you want to grow your wealth, make saving automatic. It's a small action that you take today that can lead to a million-dollar impact on your financial future. It's not just smart, it's wise. And it's something that everyone can do, starting right now. Number four, diversified investments. Diversified investments. This isn't just a strategy, it's a philosophy, a way of life in the financial world. Let's break it down. Think about the last time you went to a buffet. You probably didn't just fill your plate with one dish. No, you took a bit of this, a bit of that, a diversified meal. Why? Because you wanted to enjoy a variety of flavors and also ensure that if one dish didn't taste good, your whole meal wouldn't be ruined. That's diversification in a nutshell. Now apply that to your investments. You don't want to put all your money into one stock or one type of asset because if that one company or asset class takes a nosedive, so does your entire investment. But when you spread your investments across different assets, stocks, bonds, real estate, perhaps some commodities, you're not just spreading risk, you're actually creating opportunities for growth. The data backs this up. Study after study in the financial world has shown that a diversified portfolio tends to yield better returns over the long term than a portfolio that's heavily weighted in just one area. It's the difference between putting all your eggs in one basket and spreading them out across several baskets. But here's the key, you need to diversify intelligently. It's not just about having a lot of different investments, it's about having the right mix that works together. It's like an orchestra. Each instrument plays a different part, but when they come together under the guidance of a skilled conductor, they create something beautiful. Your diversified portfolio, under the guidance of a smart investment strategy, 
can do the same for your wealth. And let's not forget, diversification isn't a one-time thing. It's a dynamic process. The market changes, economies change, your personal goals change. So, your investment strategy needs to be flexible, able to adapt to a changing world. It's a bit like sailing. You set out with a plan, but you adjust your sails as the wind changes, always keeping your destination in sight. To sum it up, diversified investments are your ticket to a more stable and potentially more profitable financial future. It's about balance, about spreading your risk, and about giving yourself the best possible chance to see your wealth grow over time. That's strategy number four, and it's a powerful one. Number three is high-yield savings accounts and certificates of deposit. High-yield savings accounts and certificates of deposit, or CDs. These are often overlooked, but they're the bedrock of a solid financial foundation. Let's talk about why they're so crucial. High-yield savings accounts are like the unsung heroes of the banking world. They're not flashy, but they work tirelessly behind the scenes, earning you a higher interest rate than your average savings account. It's not about quick wins, it's about steady, reliable growth. Certificates of deposit, on the other hand, are like a pact with your future self. You're saying, I don't need this money right now. I'm willing to set it aside for a set period. And in return, you get a fixed interest rate that's typically higher than both regular savings and high-yield savings accounts. It's a promise of future wealth for a little patience in the present. Now, here's where it gets scientific. The Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, the FDIC, has data showing that over time, these accounts have provided returns that outpace inflation. You're not just saving money. You're ensuring that your money doesn't lose value over time. But the real power of these accounts isn't just in the interest they earn. It's also in the discipline they enforce. By putting your money into a high-yield savings account or a CD, you're making it harder to impulse buy. You're building a barrier against the temptation to spend, and every barrier you build is a step closer to that $1 million goal. Think of it this way. Every dollar you save in a high-yield account or a CD is a soldier in your army fighting the battle against unnecessary spending and inflation. And as anyone who's been successful will tell you, you win wars not by having the flashiest soldiers, but by having a disciplined, well-equipped army that's in it for the long haul. In conclusion, while high-yield savings accounts and CDs might not be the most exhilarating of financial tools, they are fundamental to building lasting wealth. They provide a safe, secure, and predictable way to grow your savings, and they play a critical role in any well-rounded investment strategy. So embrace the slow and steady approach, because over time, it's the steady hand that often comes out on top. Thank you. Number 2. Real Estate Investing Real Estate Investing Now we're stepping into exciting territory. This is where you can truly start to feel the ground beneath your feet, literally. It's tangible, it's real, and it's been a cornerstone of wealth building for centuries. Let's dive in. Real estate is a unique asset class that offers both immediate and long-term benefits. When you invest in property, you're often generating cash flow through rental income. This is your immediate benefit, month after month, a direct injection into your wealth. But there's more. Over time, real estate generally appreciates in value. This isn't just theoretical, it's been historically proven. Property values rise with inflation and often exceed it. So not only are you getting rental income, but you're also sitting on an asset that's growing in value, sometimes without you lifting a finger. Now, consider the versatility of real estate. You've got residential properties, commercial properties, raw land, real estate investment trusts, and more. Each comes with its own set of benefits and strategies. Flipping houses, for example, is about buying undervalued properties, improving them, and selling them for a profit. It's active, hands-on, and can be highly rewarding. Then you have rental properties. These can provide a steady, more passive income stream. And with the right property in the right location, you can see significant returns through both the rental income and the appreciation of the property itself. But here's where it gets really interesting. Real estate can provide tax benefits that other investments can't. Things like depreciation, which can offset your income and reduce your tax liability. 
It's like having a secret weapon in your financial arsenal that not only helps you build wealth but also helps protect it. And let's not forget about leverage. Real estate is one of the few investment areas where you can control a large asset for a fraction of its value. You put down a portion, and the bank finances the rest. This means you can amplify your investment power and potentially increase your returns on investment significantly. However, it's not without its challenges. Real estate requires management, it can be capital intensive, and there are market cycles to consider. But for those who are willing to do their homework, who understand the market and the commitment involved, real estate investing can be an exhilarating and rewarding path to financial growth. In closing, real estate investing is about putting your money into something you can touch, manage, and grow. It's a powerful strategy that, when executed with care and due diligence, can be a significant driver of your journey towards financial independence. Number 1. The most thrilling of them all. Stock market investing. Stock market investing. The pinnacle of personal finance where the potential for wealth creation meets the thrill of opportunity. Let's unpack this. Investing in the stock market is like planting a seed for a tree you may never sit under. You're buying a piece of a company, a share of their future profits, their innovations, and their growth. Over time, as the company grows, so does your investment. But it's not just any kind of growth we're talking about. The stock market has the potential for exponential growth. Historically, the market has returned about 7% to 10% annually after inflation. These aren't just numbers. They're a testament to the power of the market. Take companies like Apple and Amazon, for example. Early investors in these companies didn't just make money, they made fortunes. Because they didn't just invest in companies, they invested in visions that redefined the future. And that's what the stock market offers, the chance to be part of something revolutionary. But here's the key, it's not about jumping in and out trying to time the market. That's a fool's errand. It's about long-term investing. It's about doing your research, finding companies with strong fundamentals, and then holding on to those investments. And yes, it's a roller coaster. There will be ups and downs. Markets will fluctuate, and economic cycles will turn. But remember, volatility is not a risk for the long-term investor. It's an opportunity. When the market dips, that's your chance to buy great companies at a discount. It's crucial, however, to have a strategy. You need to diversify within the stock market, too. Don't put all your hopes into one stock. Spread it out. Invest in different sectors, different companies, maybe even different countries. And let's talk about the strategy of dollar cost averaging. This is where you invest a fixed amount of money regularly, regardless of the stock price. Over time, this can average out the cost of your investments and can help reduce the impact of volatility. In conclusion, investing in the stock market is not for the faint-hearted. It requires courage, conviction, and the ability to stay the course. But for those who are willing to learn, to invest wisely, and to hold on to their investments, the stock market can be the most exhilarating ride to financial success and the number one strategy in your journey to personal wealth. Remember, it's not just about saving a million dollars. It's about creating a million-dollar lifestyle for decades to come. Thank you, and here's to your success as an investor in the stock market. Conclusion. Saving $1 million by your 30s is an ambitious but entirely achievable goal. It requires discipline, a willingness to learn, and the courage to take calculated risks. By automating your savings, diversifying your investments, taking advantage of high-yield options, investing in real estate, and playing the stock market game, you're not just saving money you're setting the stage for a fun and financially rewarding future. Remember, the journey to $1 million is as much about the mindset as it is about the mechanics. Embrace the process, enjoy the ride, and watch as your financial goals transform from dreams into reality. Thank you for joining me today, and here's to your future as a millionaire.